Welcome back everyone, uh, we have another anti-malware test review for you and I think this one is long overdue um, the new Bitdefender Free going up against Kaspersky Free Edition um, I actually wanted to make this video a couple of days but there were just too many delays but I'm finally um, doing this so for Bitdefender on the left we'll quickly have a look see at the settings Okay, as some of you already know we only have the um, but the finish shield all the other module are for the paid versions but while we're here we'll quickly disable it save a bit of time okay now we're going to look at the advanced threat defense i'm just going to switch this off as well and that's about it so um, for the protection as well we this is going to be our first test where we will be testing um, um, malicious um, download links so we'll we have a new script that will just basically open up the default browser connect to the given um, URLs that are in the batch file and then um, download these files to see if any malicious files downloaded and any of these two can actually protect us so this will be our first test where we'll be combining this so we'll be on using the online threat prevention so that's about it but I'm just gonna leave it on no need to disable that so for Kaspersky We'll quickly look at the settings. Okay, file antivirus. Just gonna quickly go through it. Set to block. Uh, advanced settings are all the file types. Scan methods are enabled and the compound files are set to all, etc. Web antivirus, we're gonna test that today. Okay. Uh, network attack blocker no exclusions and uh, let's have a look see at the uh, MC integration enabled okay system watcher the rollback if there's ransomware infection etc and the KSN has been enabled as well so I'm just gonna go ahead and disable the protection Okay, so protection is now disabled for both these machines. I'm just going to quickly start the malware extraction and then we'll continue the test. Okay, everyone, so we're back. Um, I took the liberty of updating Bitdefender first because it does take some time to actually do an update. So let's quickly just going to update um, Kaspersky. Okay, so Kaspersky is fully up to date. I think we can now enable the real-time shields okay so now that everything is enabled and we are both green on both ends I think let's start the test with um, the malicious websites first just to see if they are gonna block um, the malicious um, downloads okay so we're just still waiting for Bitdefender okay here we go so as you can see Kaspersky is already starting to block downloads so let's see if any of these files are actually downloading okay I think here we go okay cool so Bitdefender is finally opening so let's start with Kaspersky that's done so we're gonna look at how many of this was blocked by Kaspersky's um, online web protection and then also with my um, H um, smart screen filter so obviously these ones might have been interrupted so this one might have seemed to have opened up a bit ok while well we wait for that so it's blocked by Kaspersky I think this one is partially broken Okay, so it seems like we have two that was prevented by the smart screen filter from Microsoft Edge. So these two IPs were blocked, the rest was blocked by um, Kaspersky. Let's quickly see if there's anything in the downloads. Okay, so it's still blocking access to websites. So for Bitdefender, um, seems like we have this one that's blocked. Same one um, with Kaspersky that seems to partially open or gets interrupted ok smart screen to 
Okay, so I would say it's two, two, two each for the smart screen folder. Um, let's quickly see if there's anything in the downloads folder. Okay, so we have this one funny file. Um, it. Let's see if we can open it. Might just need to change the associated program. Just want to see if Kaspersky actually picks it up. Okay, so it seems like we have one file that did actually successfully download on the machine, although um, we might need to change the extension. Um, we obviously need to figure out what extension we need to add to it, but obviously one file did actually manage to download and zero for Bitdefender, and they both have a smart screen, so I would say fairly close, but um, Bitdefender for me did a tad better, so I'm just going to delete this file, permanently delete it. Okay, so I think that's that for the web test. I think let's jump into the malware test. Okay, so let's see what happens. Okay, so Bitdefender start blocking. I think Kaspersky is also blocking, so I'm going to attend to this malware. Um, we have quite a bit of samples. I think it was a thousand seven hundred samples. Sorry, I didn't even show you guys it. Yes, one thousand seven hundred and sixty-two samples. So I'll show you once the test is done. Okay guys, so it seems like we have a blue screen on the Kaspersky machine. Once it is um, up and running again, I'll continue the malware test. Welcome back everyone. Um, so the test for Kaspersky I think is done. Um, on the last pop-up I did accidentally click on the advanced disinfection <laughs> so it's busy doing that but that's fine and also I did notice that I was getting a lot of these little hello messages um, that normally indicates that someone is remotely connected to the machine hence why I left them this little message to get off my system <laughs> so I think someone might be connected to the machine um, normally they just spy, they don't really do mouse movements, but they tend to exfiltrate um, things in the back end. But obviously Kaspersky is busy with the advanced disinfection um, for Bitdefender. Um, let's just quickly go through and see what's still open. Okay, so we still have quite a bit of things open, so we're just going to close all of this. Open that. Okay, so I closed Process Explorer and uh, let's just quickly open it and see what's running. Obviously, Kaspersky, we won't be able to open up anything else um, with the advanced disinfection running. Let's just see if we can run anything. Password. Okay, so let's quickly have a look see at Bitdefender. Okay, so for Bitdefender, um, just quickly going through it. Okay, so it only seems like this is still running, but it is open. So let's just quickly uh, close everything. Okay, doesn't seem like there's any more malware running in the processes now, so I'm gonna restart the uh, Bitdefender machine. I'm just still attending to the Kaspersky for all these pop-ups and then once it's done hopefully it doesn't get stuck then we will restart this machine and then start with the scans as well. Okay welcome back guys. Um, apologies I had to put the two VMs on ice. Um, we, uh, we had a lot of power issues and things like that. So now finally the scans are done. 
I've attended to all the malware but Bitdefender can't resolve these three items so there's no I have selected take proper action and it just comes back to um, this menu so it's not resolving these three items um, so I'm just going to say take no action for now so we can just finish up okay Kaspersky did manage to resolve the issues so I'm going to quickly restart these two machines so that we can start with the third party opinion scans and then um, we'll look at the end result okay and now the test is finally completed so we'll quickly have a look see at the results so for Hitman Pro um, it seems like we have three that are in um, oh sorry two that are in app data roaming and then obviously one in the default location uh, it seems like Bitdefender didn't remove a lot of the malware in the malware folder okay so it only seems like it's only three that's on the system so for Kaspersky seems like we have two in our normal locations the two temp folders and then it seems like SDK is suspicious but I don't think that is something to worry about uh, it's malware by its chameleon so I don't think that's something to worry about okay so not bad results okay let's have a look at Norton Power Eraser okay so Norton for uh, Kaspersky seems to be clean um, and it seems like we have one in downloads um, I think that was the one that downloaded with that test of ours okay so we can just close that okay so let's look at uh, MSISoft so for MSISoft funny enough is it's only picking up one malware which is um, oddly strange because there's quite a bit in the malware folder and it's only picking up one uh, for Kaspersky um, seems like these are all so that's local temp so that's fine same two that um, Hitman Pro picked up then I will search malware on the desktop ok still malware on the desktop ok so only malware on the desktop so that's good ok so now let's look at uh, malware bytes Okay, so this on the app data roaming. Okay, malware on the desktop. Okay, so for um, Kaspersky, we have these invoices uh, that are in the temp folder. Um, fake invoices, is obviously. okay and that seems to be that okay so let's quickly see what's running for Bitdefender and nothing there Okay, nothing there, that's good. Okay, let's look at our startup items. Okay, so it seems like they're both clean. We obviously only have an um, Opera browser. But, okay. Let's quickly look see at our folders. 
Okay, so there's that one malware. something downloaded yet as well but it wasn't flagged by any of the programs uh, that's just a backup of the Kaspersky program so that's not malware okay so our picture seems to be intact that's good Okay, I think this is the end of the test guys, um, let me know what you guys thought about this test, um, but so far I would say Kaspersky did a little bit better for me, um, there were the problems with Kaspersky though of the blue screen and where I suspected someone might have been remotely connected, but I think after the advanced disinfection and etc that might have been um, sorted out, but obviously I still wouldn't really trust it. But so far good results by both, but uh, for me it looks like Kaspersky just did a little bit better. It also removed more malware from the malware folder. But I think there might have been a problem with Bitdefender with the full scan and things like that. So I'm still getting a sense that Bitdefender might still be a bit buggy. Um, that this version still needs to improve a bit. Um, but yeah, I would say that's that guys, um, let me know what you guys thought about this test, um, we'll definitely redo this test, um, so that I can do it more back to back, um, and not have such a big pause in the, in the test, but, um, obviously we'll redo it, but let me know, um, we'll start some of the other, um, requests, um, but if you guys have any other requests, put them in the comments and we'll get to the test as soon as possible, but otherwise guys, thank you for supporting and watching and I'll catch you in the next one.